So what's next for the Pocket 3? I mean, I have no idea. But I can tell you what I'd like to see on a Pocket 4 or even a Pocket Pro. And I'd love to see some of your ideas, so make sure you drop them down in the comments. All right, let's get started. Mr. Black. All right, so I'm making this video because I have a lot of other work to get to, and sometimes I like to procrastinate just a little bit because I saw that you guys like a good Pocket 3 video, and it's kind of fun to talk about what could happen next. And also, I'm not going to do a whole history on the Pocket lineup or talk about things that I don't like in the Pocket 3. You can check out my six month later video to see that list. Right now, I'm focusing on the future of this, and I call it the Pocket Pro because I totally could see them doing this. You know the Mavic 3 Pro? Yeah, this one right here. So it's got three cameras on it. The half inch CMOS Tele camera, giving you up to seven times optical zoom with a 28X hybrid zoom. The one over 1.3 inch CMOS medium Tele camera, a 70 millimeter equivalent, three times optical zoom. And then there's the four over three CMOS Hasselblad camera with a 24 millimeter equivalent, and basically you can seamlessly switch between those different lenses. Could you imagine them having a Pocket Pro and it has that setup? I wouldn't really care if it was a little bit bigger. It would definitely be smaller than like a big camera with a big gimbal, and they probably would have way better cameras than the ones that are on this drone because that drone's already pretty old by now. So it'd be nice to see even more improvements to those cameras. And maybe one of them is like an ultra wide angle lens, so you don't need any extra attachment lenses on here you could switch between that ultra wide to that medium to that telephoto because this is a great vlogging camera but when you want to try to like capture something a little bit further out well you can't really do that because it doesn't zoom in unless it's a digital zoom but you know how that is. Also, when you do use the zoomed in shots, being able to track any object or person like far away would keep it really stable. It would be really cinematic. And again, I have no idea if anything like this is coming out. I'm just making a video. All right, before I get to the next one, if you do like Pocket 3 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because that does let YouTube know that you like it and they'll keep feeding that to you. And also, if you're new to this channel, don't be a stranger, click the subscribe button. I have a lot of cool gear to share with you all the time. And if you're interested in any of the things we're talking about today, I'll put links to everything down in the description so you can find it down there nice and easily. The Pocket 3 doesn't really do a great job at taking photos like i would never think hey i want to get a good photo let's bring out the pocket 3 i just take it with my phone so maybe having multiple cameras can utilize some kind of like ai to make the image look that much better especially in low light so if it can create even better photos that makes you not want to use your phone that'd be awesome because I'd rather hold this thing out so i could see the image on it versus using my phone where i don't know if we're in frame or whatever or maybe you have you know your that long arm shot on the side something like this would be great I would also love to see the camera just be able to spin and spin and spin. Even DJI's gimbals can just spin and spin and spin, and that would help so much. First of all, if you're just capturing yourself and going around, you don't have to worry about hitting the gimbal's endpoint. That would make it so much easier to get some like really creative shots. Now, I'm not sure if there is any reason why it stops there. Like Maybe it has something to do with sending the video signals, but I've seen it done before, and I'd love to see it on the Pocket 4 or the Pocket Pro. I'd also love to see some gesture controls. So if I wanted to track me, I could do something like this or something like this and or something like this to zoom in or things like that. It'd be great if you're far away and you wanted to track you. Maybe even some voice commands could help with that. Now, an extra accessory that I think would be super valuable is if they had something where you can have like a big selfie pull, but also at the bottom of that selfie pull, you have everything you have here. You have your screen, you have your controls, so you can actually see what you're looking at way up higher, way down lower, and you can use your joystick to make the gimbal moves from you know far away, and then also being able to like see your shot on the screen. That would be an awesome accessory. Like, yeah, shut up and take my money. But anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about that and see if you guys have any cool ideas for a future pocket camera. Other than that, I'm sure I could go on and on, but uh, I just wanted to start the conversation and uh, see what happens. If you're brand new to Pocket 3 stuff and you wanna see a cool video about that, you can just click this video right in front of my face and I'll see you there.